for the inverse dynamics part um, just gonna go inverse dynamics we're gonna load the inverse kinematics motion remember to filter it and we're gonna ex we're gonna apply external loads this is the ground reaction force so we go up here the force data is the uh, walking ground reaction forces just open oh, yeah clearly we need to filter it again kinematics uh, this will be your kinematics data that you just had kinematic results now we're going to add g g r f r the right point force um just go like this p is for point i guess and torques and we're going to apply it to the right calcaneus all right and then the ground reaction force again to the left calcaneus same thing the prefix one is just uh, to say that it's the left one the torques again GRFL we can call it that and uh, there we go now we're going to save this as ID oops, ID external loads external loads alright so that's your external loads and so just run now this is going to run a whole bunch of optimization oh wait no it's not that's the next step uh, I'll rename this ID so it's a bit easier um, but essentially you're going to get this far um, and ID results which I've uh, saved before these are the ID results and whatnot. 